Yo, what's going on people? Got my EPL review. I was gonna drop it later on today, but I've decided that I'm gonna just drop it now. There's only one game later on today. Newcastle and Liverpool. I will just give a quick little synopsis at the start of my uh, Tottenham Brentford review tomorrow. I'm not gonna wait until then to drop it. I'm just gonna drop it now. So without further ado, First up, Everton West Ham. I predicted 0 0. It was actually 1 0 to West Ham. Sue check again on the score sheet. He's a problem. He's very good in the air. He's a, he's a real danger man in the air for them. And he's, I'm sure he got one against us last season. He might have been ruled out for offside. I can't remember, but he definitely remember causing chaos in our, in our defence and set pieces. So. I'm not shocked that he was up there and he, he got the goal, but it is a shock result. I thought both teams would just cancel each other out and it'd be a ball, snorefest, nil nil, but West Ham came through, they pushed on. Everton were crap, to be honest. Hence why they didn't get on the score sheet and didn't get nothing out of the game. And on that, I guess West Ham come out worthy winners, I guess. Next up, we have West Ham. we have Man United and Aston Villa. I predicted two one to Man United, and it was two one to Man United. I could not see in the future, not no sidekick or nothing, but that was just me giving them the home advantage. If I'm honest, I didn't really expect them to win. I thought it might be a draw, or Villa would nick it. And to be fair, Villa probably deserved more from the game. They went behind, equalised, and were looking on the ascendance. See, and then after, a couple of minutes after they equalise, they go away and give away a penny. Some saying it's soft. Well, that's definitely what Dean Smith thinks it was soft and, you know, probably chipped himself up or whatever. It's, it's debatable. Sometimes they're given, sometimes they're not. For me, there's a bit of contact. Is it enough to go down? Only Pogba knows I, I don't know if it's enough to go down, but any contact apparently in the box is a penny. But football's a contact sport, so they need to they need to look at the the laws a bit and give them a bit of a tweak because some things are given pennies that I'm thinking this is soft. Like it's so bad that players are wrapping their feet around the defender so they can go to ground and do all kinds of stupidness like that just to get a penalty so if it works for you and you cheat the ref and you get away with it fine but I think the FA and Premier League should be looking into it and finding and banning players that are trying to con the ref because it's cheating at the end of the day but there is contact enough to go down or not is up for debate but there's contact and today is contact a pen and they go and score it and Villa had chances to get back in the game but they didn't take them and Man United to be fair towards the end started to play a little better both teams played well but again it's two takes their chances and who don't and toward the end last 10 minutes Villa had some good chances and they didn't take them I could think of Ming straight away off the top of my head Good header got above Maguire, goal gaping, and he heads it just wide. So, in the Premier League, you've got to take your chances. Palace, Sheffield United, Abbott's the 1 0. It was actually 2 0 to Palace. And again, Palace got the early goal, I think it was in nine minutes. And then once they got that goal, they were comfy. I think stopped, scored, and he got injured, came off. Eze replaced him, and Eze is a baller. He came on, he scored, nice individual goal. Good player he is. They got an absolute steal from QPR, he's brilliant. But again, Sheffield United in the mud. I think they played 16, 17 games, and they've got two draws, and that's it. No wins. So... They probably got the worst, the worst league results 
in no top five leagues in English football, if I'm honest. Probably all, maybe all the leagues. Maybe Shaka's up there with them, but definitely not one of the best. Definitely top two. So it's not looking good for them. Chris Wilder can't buy a win. Can't get a goal. The team he's got is not good. They've got Bruce up, up top. He's a youngster. He's come from Swansea. And he went to went back to Liverpool. He had a good time at Swansea. He went back to Liverpool. And they spent big money on him. About 30 odd million they spent on Brewster. I don't know how Liverpool finessed Sheffield United for that. But they did. And it ain't working out for them. He's not, he's not scored. He's not doing anything. To be honest. He's just looking lost. And again... Sheffield United, if they don't get any results soon, bear in mind we're in January, there's not long left of the season. So they need to start picking up points immediately and they need to go on a run. If they can get on a good, good run, but even then I think it's too late because the one they have to be on, they would have to win all their games and hope results go their way with the teams around them. And the only team I see dropping points around them is West Brom and... I don't know, I don't think West Brom, West Brom will get relegated, I do believe so. And Sheffield United will get relegated, absolutely. And I think Fulham will probably go with them. I think Fulham might go back down. I don't think Burnley will go, I think they will stay up. I think they have enough, Leeds will have enough, I think it will be Fulham. But Sheffield United, again, in trouble, they, they need to fix up expeditiously. And Spurs v Leeds, I've already done my my review on that go check that video if you want to hear my thoughts on that we have Brighton Wolves I said 1-0 to Wolves but it was actually 3-3 and Brighton were, had a bad start we'll say well no they scored first so they did have a good start but then it just went downhill from there they scored and then they gave her a penalty and then it was downhill then the next thing I knew it was 3-1 some sloppy goals they probably shouldn't have conceded two I think from a set piece or some, something I can't remember but they went down 3-1 at half time looking out of it no way back but they start the second half they get a penny they score it and immediately you see it shift to Brighton's favour and they were brilliant they got the equaliser as well dunk and they could have won it at the end but I think they'll be happy for the point considering they're three one down and Wolves again throwing away points, not getting the wins. In fact Jimenez they're not the Wolves that we know when they're struggling to get any wins. And I think the last win I remember them getting is probably against Chelsea, that two one, but I think they'll be safe. I don't think they're gonna get relegated, but they they need to start getting wins now. Their finishing has been poor and they rely on a nineteen year eighteen year old kid to replace Jimenez. And it's his debut season in the Premier League. It's too physical for him. He's not going to be able to to adapt that quick. And it's going to take a lot for him to get kick on and really pick up and improve. But you never know. We'll see. It might maybe this year. Might be the year that he steps up. Next, West Brom Arsenal. I said two 0 Arsenal. It was actually four 0 to rest to Arsenal. West Brom got absolutely slapped. They were awful. They had a goal ruled out for offside. I think if that goes in and that stands, maybe then they might turn it on and kick it up a notch. But it was ruled out and then it was just downhill from there. And Arsenal were the winners. Tierney, Saka and Lacazette with a double. Arsenal, were, they, were, they were good. You could see they were playing like a team that's on a good run. <clears throat> we put it that way. They weren't playing like how they were few weeks before they're definitely playing with confidence and knocking it about even though it was snowing just moving it around nicely and their second goal was a brilliant goal and West Brom in trouble I think Karma's come around for West Brom fully now and Sat Man Adias was talking about relegation battles but that's come back to bite him because Arsenal's climbing up I think they're like three points behind Chelsea now so West Brom looking like they might be in trouble. I think they're going to get relegated. First time Big Sam's going to get relegated, it looks like. Next up, we got Burnley and Fulham. That game was postponed, obviously, coronavirus. That's why our game against Fulham was cancelled last week, Wednesday, because of the COVID. And 
that's why it was cancelled again over the weekend with Bernie, so nothing to report there. Newcastle Leicester. I said 2-0 to Leicester. It was actually 2-1 to Leicester. So I weren't that far off. Leicester, I think it was Tillemans and Madison on the score sheet and Carroll with a goal for Newcastle. First goal for them in 10 years. So that must have been nice for him. Bittersweet. Got his first goal in a long time, but couldn't get a result. But Leicester, again, they're doing brilliant. I think they've got like seven away wins at the last nine something they done last season I think they only had seven wins at the whole of last season so they're doing brilliant away from home as well and they're right up there they're in contention if they keep playing like that and Liverpool keep dropping points then they might do it again who knows next up City and Chelsea I said 2-0 to City it was actually 3-0 and Lampard's looking like a fish out of water, mate. He can't get them players to play. He kept Werner on for the whole 90 minutes, which was a shock because he didn't do anything. But I think he's trying to keep him on to show why he spent all that money on him. So he's trying to force it instead of taking him out of the firing line because the fans are on his back saying, get him out, he's crap, bin him, he's shit, whatever else, sell him. We don't want him, get him out of the squad. As a manager, you got to say, you know what? i just got to admit that it ain't working right now. And the results are not going our way. So I need to take this guy out, put Giroud up top and get this guy out of here and give him a break. Maybe pay him 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Depends if you're winning. But for now, he has to come out of the squad because he ain't performing. Along with Kai Havertz, same thing. They came in with big reputations and... They ain't lived up to them. Havertz has been crap since he's come in. I think he got a hat trick against someone. Is it Barnsley or something? And everyone was like, oh, look, Havertz has arrived. Uh, he has not arrived. If he did, no, I don't know where. He must be still in Barnsley because he's not arrived at Stamford Bridge. And he's looking poor and even worse. It's like his decision making is just not good. He can't decide quickly enough. And then by the time he decides what to do, it's too late. The defender's on him. And Frank Lampard's is in trouble because the Chelsea board, Roman Abramovich does not play. He's not waiting around. So okay, we came to the end of the season, and no, he's just pushing button, and you're out of there because he's he loves the club. He wants to win. That's what he's used to. Since he's been there, they've been winning. They've been competing, and right now they ain't. So he's thinking maybe one more game. After that, if it don't go well then he's going to be out of it. He might stay because it's Man City, so they might give him a bit of leeway, but just not be happy with the performance. But at the end of the day, it's still Man City, so maybe he's like, you know what, it's Man City. We can let that one slide. But next game, you've got to win. And if not, pack up your bag, get your backroom staff, pack up their bags, pack up your office, get your boxes and all that, and you need to get out of there because... We are not here for this. We want top four at least. And if you're at the helm, I don't think we're getting it. So Lampard's under pressure and you can see it on the touchline. You saw him looking nervous, thinking, what am I going to do with this team? Actually, it was 3-1. Adoy scored in the last minute, a consolation, not that it matters, but fine. It was 3-1 in the end. And they're definitely looking like they might be dropping out of the top four and might not even make top four, period. So, we'll see how it goes with them. But, as I said, Southampton, Liverpool. No, Newcastle. Oh, yeah, Southampton, Liverpool. I forgot about that game. I don't think that one's come yet. That is the day. So, yeah, that's the last game of the, of the weekend. And that will be at the top of my um, Tottenham view tomorrow so look out for that that'll be directly after the game not sure how long after but it will be after the game against Brentford might be an hour who knows I'm going to try to get up as soon as possible but look out for that thanks for tuning in make sure you like comment share subscribe all that good stuff put your thoughts in the comments let me know what you think 
any other videos you want me to do i might do a video on thursday because tottenham don't play again until sunday fa cup against marine so that preview will be coming out on saturday so i'm gonna try to do a another random video maybe of players that we need to sign well not players but positions that i think need to be filled so look out for that that might up on thursday because there are a few a few spots that need to be filled so i'll probably drop a video on that maybe thursday friday and until then i'm out peace